This week, I'm taking on Attack of the Killer Refrigerator. Ah! Unfortunately, it's taking me on too! This is 1990's Attack of the Killer Refrigerator. Damn, this looks like the start of an awesome found footage movie. Complete with bush flowing? Like Bush, this guy relies on his epic exploits to impress a girl. Say we had a party up here and we had to defrost it. It was really weird. We took these hammers and, and knocked all the ice off. And we get to see the frat boy answer to an overly icy fridge. They enact John Wick levels of violence in an attempt to free a carton of eggs. And you know they mean business because a perfectly good smoke gets handed off. At least they have safety in mind. After mocking the fridge and Mr. Bill. Here we go. We made a break. I have to take a second to point out that they could have done a regular defrost. But of course, that wouldn't have matched the late 80s party dynamic, thus being less rad. After more hammering than your average 80s porn, the eggs are still trapped. They pull out a broom and hammer combo, which may provide a little bit of panache, but still doesn't make these guys ice removing pros. With all that said... Hey, ever since we chopped that ice off that freezer box inside, that refrigerator hates us. And I'm sure absolutely nothing will come of this. The pumpkin is pulled out, meaning it's time for the party to end, and the after dark shenanigans to begin. Complete with loud wallpaper and an incredibly awkward attempt to gracefully get into bed. Sexy time is halted for a beer, but it costs this victim a literal arm. I'm not sure whether the fridge killed her for leaving the door open for too long, or just out of regular jealousy. Also, real quick question. How does sex on a waterbed work? Like, wouldn't you get seasick? Anyway, I'm not sure what happened to this guy, but he's eaten like cold pizza. Post-coital smokes are enjoyed in multiple rooms, but apparently the fridge needed more action, cause it taps this guy. Unfortunately, the Taco Bell leftovers start repeating and this poor lady suffers the effects of it. The fridge is finally unplugged and the nightmare is as done as that weird Tupperware container at the back of your fridge that smells like old shoes. Or is it? Damn you, General Electric! Attack of the Killer Refrigerator is a 1990 comedy horror short written and produced by Michael Savino and Mark Vo. According to the Media House Films website, it was distributed to over 5,000 video stores, but over the course of time, it would go on to be one of the most sought after VHS tapes ever produced. Even well-worn VHS copies have sold on eBay for up to $800. It was one of the first publicly released SOV horror movies in the US alongside Boarding House, Sledgehammer, and Black Devil Doll from Hell. Presently, Sorvino and Bo are working on a sequel that goes a bit meta with the plot, which revolves around a superfan of the original buying the fridge prop off an online auction and all hell breaks loose. It didn't reach its crowdfunding goal, but it seems like the team is still working to bring their vision to life. More info on this can be found at the link in the description. I ran across this Blu-ray last November and was intrigued by the cover. I also have quite a soft spot for movies about killer inanimate objects. As is true with the VHS, Killer Fridge is paired on Blu-ray with The Hook of Woodland Heights, which is another early Savino and Bo feature. So the first thing to know is that Killer Fridge is only 15 minutes long, but it manages to tell a good if simple story in that time. Most of the running time is spent with fridge kills that are really well done. Smoke, fake blood, and a 40s fridge make an unstoppable force of vengeance. On top of this, we get Waterbed Nookie, Bushlight Appreciation, and Guy Butt. It's quite a lot of fun and a great example of a no-budget SOV with heart and the smarts to make something out of just an old indestructible appliance. The editing is kept pretty tight as well, as nothing really overstays its welcome. As you'd expect, the actors are probably friends of the director rather than seasoned professionals, but they do a good job of playing up the schlockiness you need to sell something like this. If you can track it down, it's worth a watch. And if you're into SOV, the Blu-ray is well worth a purchase. Hook of Woodland Heights is also a really fun feature, and there's a fair amount of extras that make it worth the money. If you're looking for a movie about a killer appliance, I promise it'll be a chill experience. So what do you think? Suggestions for movies, trivial questions, comments, ratings, and a fridge that cleans up after its own murders would be appreciated. Thank you so very much for watching.